Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah, you filthy animals. Today, uh, let's take a look at some uh, some uh, 15 millimeter historical World War II figs that I did using mostly contrast paints. Uh, these are all battlefront figures uh, for Flames of War, but I base them individually so I can use them for Chain O Command. Let's start with the Germans, um, with the German figs. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta do the, I gotta do the black ring around that base. But anyway, um, these are uh, winter figs. I kind of started, I did winter figs just, uh, just kind of to be different. And um, but anyway, um, that being said, the uh, German figs, uh, the ones that are in the white suits, I used apothecary white. The I used uh, Templar um, black for the black. Um, for the black boots, and um, I used a silver, you know, silver color for the weapon. Um, Cause they're all uh, well. Anyway, I, I think the um, the helmets uh, I I used just a regular white acrylic paint. Uh, for some reason, helmets don't really look good using contrast. It's the way the the contrast pulls into the crevices, and when there's no crevice there, it kind of like pulls on the top, and it looks like a big dot. Um, on their on the top of their head, so I just kind of painted it uh, that way. Now, the um, dude uh, dude in uh, dude in uh, overcoat. What I used was two parts. Of, uh, well, it was a two part uh, uh, green to, or two parts gray to one part green that somebody has for uh, just doing regular Wehrmacht uh, pants. And uh, well, I, I use that. Um, and I painted the hat the same color, but it just it looked weird. So I ended up just using a gray for the hat. And I found that if you use all of the same color, um, you know, for the most part, like for the hat and the thing, it, it it's hard to see it. The, the figure just doesn't look good. Um, so you know that that's why you got to paint the back. Um, you, you know, you got to paint the equipment on the back. It, for some reason, it looks good if. If the pattern is broken up a little bit, let's kind of get a, a little side sideish view. Okay, so those are the Germans that I painted. Now the Russians. Um, let's move this over. Now the Russians, I used uh, a Garros for the not ones that are not in the in the gray coats. I used that uh, a Garros a Garros Don. Uh, somebody has a a website now. I'll put the two. Um, I'll put the links to the two. Um, to the um, to the website and to the um, videos that that uh, I got the colors from, and I think they look pretty good. Um, let's see the uh, for the overcoat. I um, whoops, I used a darker a darker brown. I don't remember the colors. Sorry. And um, you know, when, once again with for the helmets, for the helmets I used. You know, I just painted it. Um, you know, the the green uh, kind of didn't look too good. And then um, actually, this one figure here that's doing the Russian dance is uh, from Peter Pig, and I'm going to have him in charge. Uh, you know, be a be a uh, uh, a leader for the uh, for may, maybe an artillery unit. Um, yeah, I don't know. This came out pretty pretty good. Um, painted quickly. Uh, and here's the here's the light machine gun guy. Um, it uh, I, I don't know. It came out pretty good. The um, I think I might have put a little too much, a little bit too much thinner on the German in the overcoat, but it kind of looks like snow. So, oh, uh, the bottom, the the bottom um, of the base, uh, the the ground itself, I used Basilicanum gray, um, and it uh, I, I think it looked pretty good. I used this textured acrylic uh, thing that I got. I believe it's Liquitex, that uh, you know you kind of like squish it on with. Um, Squish it on with the uh, with the uh, Games Workshop uh, tool, and there you go. Um, you know, makes a kind of makes a good random random ground cover. Um, ooh, I gotta paint that. That's bothering me. Um, paint the paint the base. Um, yeah. So uh, you know it. Uh, yeah. So hopefully I'll have my um, force finished. Uh, two forces uh, for Chains of War. Uh, German uh, basic uh, basic platoon and uh, Russian basic platoon. Uh, have you guys used um, contrast paints in 15 millimeter or anything like that? So put your um, 
Um, you know, put put your comments below. Give me a hearty thumbs up. Uh, Merry Christmas and have well, it's Christmas Eve right now, and it's the third day of Hanukkah. So uh, you know, uh, the holiday um, holiday best wishes, no matter what holiday you celebrate. Thanks for watching. Bye now.